Hey, this is Father George Corrigan from St. Francis in Triangle, Virginia, with a few Sunday thoughts on our readings for the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Uh, certainly, the Gospel reading is, I mean, it's just infinitely famous. It includes John 3.16, for God so loved the, the world, he sent his only son. You know, way back when uh, Tim Tebow was quarterback at the University of Florida, he wore eye black in the national championship game. It said John 3.16. And uh, the next couple of days, John 3.16 became the most uh, queried internet query of its day. And I think it's still true, you know, in terms of, you know, what a great, amazing sense of, of witness. Uh, but even beyond that, you know, God so loved the world that he held nothing back, not only his only son. At the core of it, you know, it goes what First Peter says, that, you know, God desires that all be saved. God is all in. I mean, he's just, he's just all in, even to withholding nothing. And is that, does that make sense for God? Well, yeah. Look at the first reading. First reading is from Exodus um, 34. It is this passage where we're, the, we're in the middle of the Exodus. The Israelites have been camped. They've been camped there at the base of Sinai, um, you know, and this is a great irony. While Moses is up on top receiving the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments, down at the bottom of the mountain, the golden calf, that whole story is being played out. There's this incredible uh, tension uh, in the moment itself. And yet, in what is quoted 20 different times in Scripture, you know, Moses proclaims that God is a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger, rich in kindness and fidelity. Uh, even though he's dealing with this stiff-necked people, you know, his mercy is for the thousands uh, and his inequity, his, his equity is for the masses. And yet there's this tension between God's love and God's justice. He will punish iniquity, but he will not punish the innocent, even unto the third and fourth generation. But that's a sense of the third and fourth generation doing exactly what this current generation is doing at the bottom of the mountain. And so it's a sense that that is one of the core characteristics of God. God is merciful, gracious, slow to anger, rich in kindness and fidelity. This is a God, who, the very nature of God. It is love. It is poured out into the world, as St. Bonaventure calls it. It's a fountain fullness that keeps pouring and pouring with one goal in mind. Uh, that God loves, as Thomas Aquinas said, he loves us and wishes for us the good for ourselves, that we may be saved. And so he's all in. He holds back nothing of himself for himself. And the way that accomplished in this age is by the giving of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit that engages us from that moment of last week in Pentecost, engages us to be witnesses to one thing in the world, God's love. And if you want to find out, well, how is that love displayed? Well, if we go about our lives, be merciful, be gracious, be slow to anger, be rich in kindness and fidelity. And then we will truly understand the power of the Spirit. And as I said last week's gospel, and we will be sent just as the Father sent the Son into the world. And those are some Sunday thoughts on this solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Amen.